All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the uh, Freedom Studios. <laughs> and what you're looking at now is the opposite side of the room where we were doing the reloading. And this is my new um, workbench. And I can tell you something. I am very, very excited about that. Uh, if you notice a little bit of blood on my hands, I, I tried to circumcise the end of my trigger finger. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this because... Um, I haven't been able to really get into uh, any new builds lately just because I haven't had something like this laying around. And now I've got all my tools accumulated up here. We've got a lot of cool things going on. Uh, and this is going to be a new platform for me to show you some of the things that I'm doing. Now, uh, <laughs> we've got a couple of things that we're doing. The, the uh, premium builds that we're doing uh, actually have the Hanson uh, barrel on it. And this is a really nice little deal here, except when I tried to put the barrel nut on there, not the barrel nut, but the gas block on here, I accidentally stripped out the uh, little screw that went in there. And then I messed up the hand guard, and we decided to go ahead and go with a different hand guard with the, the uh, premium build series. So this is something that I had to correct, and it's been riding around with me forever. As a matter of fact, I couldn't remember what I did with this upper receiver because it was attached to this damn barrel because I couldn't get the barrel nut. And when I'm out of town, I couldn't get the, this is a proprietary barrel nut wrench head. Uh, so I've got to go home and get that, bring it back up. So anyway, very excited about getting this fixed. Uh, another thing that I'm very excited about is that we're putting together a 20 inch barrel build using, and if you guys have seen this before, this is a proof research barrel. These guys are absolutely incredible. It's a one of seven twist. We were talking about that last night. And I had everything on that Anderson lower. So earlier today, I uh, had a break and decided to go ahead and transfer everything over to the M4E1. And inside this, guys, this is the Timney, uh, man, what what in the world is that trigger called? But anyway, it's about a pound and a half. Really cool trigger shoe. I did a review on this, and I consider this probably one of the best triggers out there for like precision, single stage, of course, rifle shooting. And uh, the, the handguard system and the, the barrel nut system is setting up. It's very similar to the JP rifles uh, barrel nut system where you've got to let the first section uh, set up with the... Uh, uh, red Loctite on the upper strip receiver and then line everything up. Then we go ahead and we put the uh, barrel nut wherever I do it. This is the actual barrel nut <laughs> and you actually have to time this one. So this is going to be really cool. Uh, so we started that whole process and then ended up having to redo it because it was the process is in alignment, in the, not in alignment. Over there, we've got an 11 and a half inch Palmetto State Armory barrel. Don't forget, I will be having all the sales from PSA, Palmetto State Army, Armory, uh, primary arms on the website, kb32tech.com. What's going to happen is with these builds, uh, I'm actually going to go through them in detail and we'll put them over on Rumble. Look down below, that's the website. I've got an actual build video. It's about 45 minutes long on how to put together your lower receiver with all the hacks that I do. That's a real interesting one to watch. So anyway, uh, yeah, as this guy continues moving forward, um, we will go ahead and I'm going to show you the uh, bolt carrier group that we're going to put into it. And we'll take it out, shoot some 77 grain from the guys over there at uh, Callaway Ballistic and do some real cool test. I was going to go out today to the range. A uh, little blur, uh, the, the winds are blowing a little too much for me to get an accurate read on accuracy. Plus, I uh, staggled up my damn trigger finger. I was going to take the pistol out and run it, but I can barely bend this thing now. So with that being said, um, upcoming projects. Uh, we're going to be showing some detailed stuff. We're going to show you how seat barrels, uh, accurize upper receivers, that kind of thing. is going to be a lot of fun. This is what I've been waiting on right here. This table right here is just a folding table with a three-quarter inch CDX. And then I found this uh, oak, one-inch oak chopping block, which that's what that is right there. And I wanted something solid. And it let it patina on its own. Plus, you got a, a, a vice block here, which is, is an essential tool that you have to have in this business. And then all the crap back there in the back. Uh, we've got some really unique stuff that's coming down the line. It's going to be a lot of fun. With that being said, guys, um, we're going to do a video this evening talking about San Francisco. It was on the news last night, and I saw it, uh, a little blurb come up. But can you believe these jackasses 
they're going to take like 30 people and pay them not to shoot folks. Democrats. Uh, let's go to Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in 1.5 pounds of precisionness. Ow. Man, that is. That's some sick, sick stuff right there. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.